What's up, everybody? It's your boy D. Just wanted to hit y'all with a video real quick. Um, I recently uh, went out of town not that long ago, and uh, I had an encounter, and I had an experience with God that I wanted to share, hoping that it would be a blessing uh, to somebody else. I, um, last week, I, I went you know, somewhere uh, so I can spend some quiet time with God. I was just praying and just... Um, just really seeking God for myself. I haven't been on social media lately. I wanted to just take some time and just go someplace and just, you know, just praise and worship. That's it, you know, and uh, I did it. And it, and I had, you know, something happened. I got a revelation that really blessed me uh, while I was there. Um, the first day I was up there, I was just praying, you know, listening to worship music and nothing happened. And then, uh, the second day come around and I was just praying and I was worshiping. I wasn't asking God for anything and, you know, nothing happened. And, and then I was kind of like, you know, it's almost like I was kind of discouraged a little bit because I was thinking like I was hoping I didn't come all the way up there because I really just wanted to have an encounter. I wanted to have an experience and I didn't want to just, you know, go up there and not have that. But that third day, you know, I was praying and, and God had, uh, God had spoke to me and he had asked me, he was like, what's the real reason why you came up here? You know, and when God asked me questions like that, I kind of get nervous because like, I know he's about to show me something that I didn't know, you know, something that's in my heart and stuff. And so, you know, I just really got to thinking about that, about the real reason why I came up there seeking God like that. And, you know, truth be told, you know, I had to be real with God because he knows what was in my heart. And I just told him, I was like, I, you know, I, I wanted to come back different, you know, uh, I've been out of work for a little while and I'm about to go back this week and, you know, I just wanted to come back stronger. I was like, I want a new mind. I want a, a better mind. I want a better heart, you know, and, uh, you know, God was showing me that those things are not bad, but I always check my motives, you know, and, and, you know, be aware of why I'm doing things, you know, because, um, God was just showing me like, you know, I want you to just worship me just because I am. You know, I thought he was going to say because I am God or I thought he was going to say because I'm good. But he was like, no, nah, I just want you to worship me because I am. I am. You know, and the Old Testament, that's what he would call himself, the great I am. Jesus, you know, called himself that in the New Testament. And God said to me that, I have the ability to, in a split second, to change everything that is wrong in your life. God said, if I speak it, it shall come to pass because I am able. The Bible says in Ephesians 3 and 20, now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may think or ask. And that is a powerful verse if you just really just think about it, you know, that God was like, I don't want you to worship me to get something from me. I just want you to worship me because I'm able to do it. I'm able to go above your needs, you know, uh, and, and that right there, even talk about it now, I just feel the Holy Spirit, you know, uh, God was speaking to me and he was saying, when you worship me, you're going to come out different. You'll come out with a new mind. You'll come out with a new heart because you can't be in my presence and come out the same. But worship me just because I am. Because when we worship God, he already know what we're going to ask him for. You know, and it's not that we're never supposed to ask him for things. But when we are going to just worship him, just worship him because he is and he's able. You know, and God was beginning to he was beginning to speak to me about life, you know, the meaning of life. You know, and, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about mothers and fathers, you know, good mothers, uh, you know, they sacrifice, you know, when that when they have a child, they stop going out all the time. They stop, you know, messing with different people and then bringing men around their uh, their children and, and good fathers do the same. But God said, I'm the father of all fathers because I made the total sacrifice for this world, for you. I gave y'all Jesus for 33 years. I sacrificed my son knowing that he was going to die the way that he died, but I still gave him up. You know, and, and Jesus, when he was here on the earth, he could have lived like a king if he wanted to. Satan came to him and said, I will give you all, 
you know, that has been given to me, all the kingdoms of this world, and he could have took it, you know, but he lived like a servant. He didn't even have a place to sleep, and he knew that he was going to come and die. But the reason why that he did it is because he sacrificed his life for us so we could have eternal life. And and God was, you know, showing me the meaning of my life, the reason why I sacrifice certain things is so I could sacrifice my life because when we give up our life, he gives us true life. He gives us purpose and we become a blessing to somebody else because I gave up drugs, because I gave up, you know, this world, you know, now I can go back and help somebody else. And when I do that, it blesses me because my whole life I was always, you know, when I was a teenager to own up, I was seeking for something and I would always be empty. I would be empty in my lust. I never, lust, you it, you never get fulfilled. It leaves you empty. You know, I, I would try to find fulfillment in people. I was trying to find fulfillment in alcohol and in this world and all this stuff. And I just always ended up empty, you know. And I just realized now, like, you know, I could go back to that any day. But what about the people at the homeless shelter? What about the people who look up to me, you know, it's worth that sacrifice just to be a blessing to somebody else, just like God was a blessing to us. Because the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice, but laying down your life is obedience, you know. And so uh, I just thank God for that experience. I thank God for that encounter. And this is why it's so important to have a relationship with God for yourself, because if you are in relationship with him, you will experience him. But if you're not in relationship with him, how can you really experience him like that? You know, and, uh, you know, this is why I tell people, you know, that, that ask me for prayer and stuff like that. Sometimes people, it's not that they don't need prayer, but they just need to be in relationship because I can't pray you into an experience. I can't pray you into a relationship where you can really encounter God. I can't pray for you that you will get, you know, on that level. But in this time that we're living in, you got to know God for yourself. You can't trust in the anointing that's on your pastor's life or anybody else. You just really got to seek and, and, and press God because sometimes the things that we go through in life is not about spiritual warfare. It's just about God trying to get our attention. But when we seek him, we shouldn't seek him for things all the time. You know, sometimes it's okay. But just seek God just because he is God, because he is able and because he is good. So uh, I don't want to make a long video. I just wanted to uh, share that encounter with y'all because it blessed me. So I hope this video will be a blessing uh, to somebody else. Uh, as I always say, no matter what you're going through, you can be free because who the son has set free is free indeed. I love y'all. I'm out.